Your aircraft's battery, or multiple batteries, is the starting point. It powers the starter motor to crank the engine and provides initial power to avionics and essential systems. In emergencies, the battery acts as a backup, but its endurance is limited. Some aircraft use a ground power unit, or GPU, on the ground to assist with engine start, while larger turbine aircraft use an auxiliary power unit, or APU, which provides both electrical and pneumatic power. Once the engine is running, generators or alternators take over. So, generators versus alternators, what's the difference? DC generators, more common in older aircraft, produce DC power, but are less efficient for higher power systems. AC generators, used in most modern aircraft, generate AC power, which is more efficient for high power systems and can be transmitted over longer distances. Alternators common in smaller aircraft are actually AC generators with built-in rectifiers, which immediately convert AC to DC for avionics and battery charging. Alternators are preferred in smaller aircraft because they are more reliable and efficient at lower RPMs. In large aircraft, AC generators are primarily used because they are better suited for high power demands. When DC power is needed, transformer rectifier units or TRUs convert AC into DC for systems like lighting and avionics. Now how is the power distributed? Well, once the power is generated, it needs to be carefully distributed to critical systems throughout the aircraft. This is where the electrical bus comes in. The electrical bus acts as a central hub, routing power to radios, lights, avionics, flight instruments, and other essential systems. Pilots manage power distribution through switches and circuit breakers, ensuring everything is working properly. If something fails, they can isolate the issue and continue flying. Modern aircraft also have automatic load management, which ensures redundancy by automatically rerouting power in the event of a failure.